But yeah, homelessness would not be the end of the world, but it would suck anyway. Okay. So let's go back in and let's see if we're screwed. Oh, hey, free hatchet. God damn it. I don't know why I keep just tossing my backpack. So where's the guy that we get the uh, favor from? Because he said he'd go back. Uh, let's see. Do I have the writ of favor? Just in my inventory. Oh, we just have it. Okay. I'm assuming we'll go to her. Otherwise, we go to the house. We'll see. Hello. Talk about the blood price. Earned a tribal favor. And on time, too. I'm impressed, old dude. You've proven that you can be an excellent asset to the tribe when you put your mind to it. Well done. Consider this payment dealt with. Sioso thanks you for your great deed. To let you know, Olili and Izan are leaving Sierzo. You should speak with them before they go. What do you mean they're leaving? What's going on? Olili... Olile, probably. Olile is leaving Sierzo permanently to join the holy mission of Lat. Nothing I could say would convince her to stay. But it's about time you let her go. You cannot understand what it feels like to have your only daughter forsake her name and home. I may never see her again. She was born into such an advantageous family, and yet, who am I to argue with a literal god? And he's on? Why is he leaving? He can't be ready for another expedition already. Listen, old dude, the shipwreck that killed so many of our people and nearly took the life of, uh, took your life was the fault of Yizan's brother, Roland. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. What? How can you be so sure? He was on duty at the lighthouse the night of the shipwreck. He fell asleep on duty and let the light go out. He confessed as much to me himself. Roland accepts the consequences of his actions. Izan refuses. He has chosen to exile himself from Sierzo forever. Rather than to do his duty to the tribe and bear the blood price. This isn't fair. I understand punish punishing Roland, but why he's on? The blood price must be levied against an entire bloodline. Otherwise, the one who bears it would be p pushed to act selfishly rather than repay what is owed to the tribe. Against a line, it can be held for as long as it needs to. Against an individual, it promotes only bloodshed. Never forget, the blood price is not a punishment. It's a repayment for a wrong. It allows those who have suffered to get their fair compensation without violence. Without it, it would be ruled by revenge and mob rule. It still seems stupid and puts everybody into slavery. Anyway, come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Sierzo, now that you can handle the world outside. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if that's an accurate assessment, as I am kind of dying constantly. But that's fine. I mean, I'm just going to end up with mad diseases left and right. Okay, so they're not going to leave immediately, but I guess I'll go talk to them just in case. And then we're going to go sleep for a while. Because I got to get rid of diseases and shit. I might be able to get rid of the infection. Uh, let's see. Actually, that's probably this. Cures indigestion. No. Common cold. Cures infections. Pricey. I'll grab one. I mean, honestly, each one of those spears more or less pays for it, so it's not that big of a deal. And we'll sell the hatchet. And the beetles. Let's see. We also got some amylite, but I think, yeah, I can craft armor with it, so I probably shouldn't. And honestly, I think I'm going to sell the eggs. Okay, and she was the one that sell, sold salt, yeah? We'll buy the salt. Okay, there we go. That's better. So, next up. Let's see. Alile. 
I guess it's a goodbye, old dude. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. I'm not looking back. Seriously, we will miss you, Lile. I'll miss it too, but I can't come back. Not after what Mother and I discussed. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I can't talk about it. She wants me to follow in her footsteps, and I... I just can't. I already have no desire to be a chamber lady. What she told me, I refuse to consider being part of it. It's unlikely we'll meet again, old dude. Unless, of course, you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make me a lot less nervous. I'll think about it. I'm glad. I'd be happy to have you with me. The holy mission is more about more than working for a god or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone, regardless of tribe or family. First, protect and look after those who are in need. Second, I have or second have discipline and mastery of yourself. And third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help another. It's a good set of values to live by. In fact, if you join the holy mission and give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's an ideal clean state. Or a clean slate. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon, the hollowed marsh. The road you need to take uh, you need to take to reach the marsh is in the east of Chersonese. Once you reach the marsh, follow the pilgrim road, the trail of the sun pillars towards the ray of light that flies over monsoon. See his wander slowly dying. Yes. I should probably actually drink the, uh... Drink the medicine. Okay, so done with that. Now let's go find... Wait, did she just warp out of... Ex yeah, she just winked out of existence. I heard you, uh, I take it you've heard the news, old dude, and come to see your old pal off. I've got a little fishing barge in my name, and a lad's gonna, and by a lad, I'm going to use it. I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant, never to darken this state of the city ever again. The heroic kingdom doesn't buy into the idea that we should only focus on survival. They believe in pushing progress to create an even better society. That's a place where you can do what you, uh, where you can do what you were meant to, without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the misdeeds of your ancestors. You succeed or fail on your own merits and no one else's. Good choice. Go chase your own dreams. That I will. I will chase the Levantine dream and make it my own. I'll take any risk over being trapped here by my brother's idiocy. How do you plan on making it to Levant? The sea can only take you so close. I mean, it's in the middle of the desert. I'll go by ocean as far as I can, then leg it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. I'll be rationing water the whole way. If I could afford it, I'd have brought potions to help with the heat. Well, we'll have to try our luck without them. Can I come along? I want out of this place, too. I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim, and on a barge that small, you'd be nothing but a liability. I'm sorry, old dude, but that's just not gonna happen. If you manage to get the to the Kingdom of Levant on your own somehow, though, I'll do my best to look out for you. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. You'll have to leave the Cherson East by going east, and travel east through the entire... Edmurkar Forest, and finally south through the Abrasar Desert itself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert and come to the Hero Kingdom of Levant, I'll be waiting for you. Let's see. So, out of curiosity, are there any skill trainers I should keep in mind around here? Uh, or should I, or do I have to go looking elsewhere? Well, now we know you can't swim. Yeah, that part sucks. I guess still sucks. I'd like to be able to swim. Okay, so I get to keep my house. Now I'm gonna go sleep, then we can go talk to What's-Her-Face. Cause like, I'm tired. <laughs> We're gonna do a full eight hours of sleep. Check on your map to see the trainers. Oh, really? Okay, well that makes life easier. Uh, yeah, map in town. Okay. So, everything's back to normal. I'm feeling better. I have all my money. No more limitations. Okay. So we do have a bunch of raw meat that's actually... Wait, no, 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 no. I just realized that's all rotting in my inventory and I shouldn't have done this. I should have gone and sold all this junk. Whoops. So 
So next order of business, I think, would be fully gearing myself out. It's very clear that I can't get through anything uh, by skill alone. Because that's just straight up not going to work. Oh, cool. Almost rotten meat. Let's see. Any of the rest of these rotting on me? Crab eye seeds. Nope. All right. There we go. Sucker. Okay. So, now that we've completely scammed the fish shop... I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna see if I can get... Maybe Shell to join me on this? Maybe? The problem is, like... Well, problem... The benefit is, if I had another person, I'd never have to worry about getting flanked. The problem is, I could also see this being really tough on Shell. Actually, out of curiosity, are characters server-side, or could I bring this character over? and help her out. Because I'd certainly like to be able to bring this character over instead. Because that means I wouldn't... Uh, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about like stealing resources or anything like that. Okay, so that's the kitchen. Can I have a crafting bench in here? Okay, it's not server side. So I could just join her with this character and actually bring some things. Perfect. Okay, so what do we need for this? Oh, I need the... Wait, manual recipe. Discovery of new craft crafting recipes, such as weapons made from monster parts. What is the resource that I'm missing here? Now, keep in mind this has been done by a team of 10 developers. I'm very impressed with the quality on display. Things could be improved, but the foundation is solid. Yeah, I would definitely say first order of business would, tight would be to tighten up the combat some more. It's not terrible. Uh, but it's... Let's see, Kazite Trainers, Arago, Loud Hammer, Alchemist. Oh, right, I should probably grab the money. The first slot is... Howing you need a basic armor, is the one you're currently wearing. Wait, so... I would take my armor off and then turn it into leather attire. Okay. Let's see, I want to buy something. Oh, so skill trainers are just these. Okay. But that's not the Luxite Trainer. This... These are the Luxite Trainers. Or, the Kazite. Alba, my friend, ready to continue your training? Uh, let's see. Sure. Okay, so Spellblade. Maximum health, salmon, and mana by 15 each. Wait, what is the, what is the weird, what is this resource? What is the broken chain looking thing? Maximum health by 25 and the amount of health you restore while sleeping by 20%. And you can only train in three classes. What? Let's see. One-handed axe to cripple a foe. Okay, so... Oh, I see. It's the class. 
so you can only have three. Wait, are these the only things I can train in? Okay, is this the only trainer? I certainly hope not. Probably is. I'm not sure if I really like that. I kind of want to stay away from magic considering how much extra resources it se I seem to have to go through. Okay, well let's go grab my... M uh, I got another thing I can do. So each city has something. Yeah, I, I will admit I almost kind of wish this game had more of a freeform skill system that you could just kind of swi switch between. And, uh, I don't know. I keep hoping to play a game almost identical to this, but with a Morrowind-style leveling system of, like... What, Morrowind? Or maybe Seven Days to Die. Actually, closer to Seven Days to Die, as silly as that sounds. Let's grab the tattered attire and the sandals. And let's see if that lets me make the makeshift leather attire. Okay, so we actually have looter mask, looter armor, worker boots. I might be able to... I'm gonna just toss these. And maybe Starfield will be it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Someday. Uh, let's see. Let's grab my money. We might as well buy some, like, good equipment from... in town. Because at, at this point, I've been using garbage. And I probably shouldn't be. Question, can I repair? It doesn't cost you anything? But yeah, I don't know. I, I want, like... I would love it that your character actually actively gets better. Uh, let's see. What is the status of my stuff? Still pretty bad. So let's spend more time repairing and then six hours sleeping. Okay, you can unlock the basic skills of all the trainers, but you can only unlock the mat the master skills from three of them. Oh, okay. Oh, my grab berries is rotten. Right. Oh, that's fine. That's not as big of an issue. And it looks like most of my, my food stuffs are just gonna last forever. Or, well, not forever, but still. Okay, so everything is good to go. I probably should have done that slower, but I don't think I have any time. Uh, but yeah, skill system of long use gets better. Yeah, so like, I, I, I would actually be really positive about the, the combat system being painfully clunky. If your character slowly gets, uh... If your character actually, like goes from being this like really clunky can't can't hit people at all to eventually actually being able to just uh wail on folks okay so let's talk to this guy again train with you okay so that requires the skill point oh i see so i can pick up this skill i just can't get spellblades awakening So I can learn Fitness, Shield Charge. It's it's just Spellblades Awakening that I, I can't pick up. Well, I'm going to grab Fitness, no matter what. The Impact Resistance while you're blocking. Actually, eh, that might be okay. Also 50, I don't know. Let's go see what equipment I can pick up, because no matter what, I feel like I need a better, a heftier weapon, and probably a proper suit of armor. Okay, let's actually get around and talk to Ladhammer. Craft me something. Something. Okay, so... Well, we can't do any of that. So, browse shop.
Okay, so he does have half plate helm and half plate armor. And boots. Pricey though. Otherwise I can teach myself how to make Oh. You can make a fang weapon if you have the iron version of them and they cause bleeding. What a bad idea. There's something about learning how to make the amylite armor. Dunno. Because 2, 14, and 11 versus what do I currently have? 6. Oh. That's considerably better. Unfortunately, I'm still pretty poor, so I'm only really going to be able to pick up one of these. I feel like the half-blade armor is probably my best. We do also have stuff like the Brutal Great Mace and some other things. A Broad Dagger, a Rondel Dagger. Let's grab the Iron Spear, the half-blade armor. Can I make a Fang... Albert. I don't know if that counts with spears. I still haven't found anybody that lets me buy a shield. Oh, I guess there's the round shield. But that doesn't work with my spear. I'm not even sure if I like this spear, though. You know, let's cancel the spear. How about... I can pick up, like, the Iron Mace. Hatch it. What's the difference between all of these? I know Fang weapons give a bleed effect, which is actually pretty rad. Let's grab... Because the Mace does the most amount of damage, the attack speed seems to all be about the same. Let's go Mace. At least for now. And then we'll probably go fight some Troglodytes. It does look like blocking with the shield is better. Uh, let's see. So I could sell the looter armor. Yeah, let's see if I can sell the looter armor. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up uh, one of every, like, of the basic weapons. I'm sure it's a, a giant financial setback and blah, 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 blah. But, like, worth it to me. So let's, let's sell the hides. And the... Uh, let's see. No. Because I can make the fang stuff with that. Okay, so let's grab the Iron Sword and the Iron Axe. I just want to try all of them. I know traps are OP. I'd like to mess with them more. Yeah, I don't like that step backwards. That's not bad. Let's try the axe for now. Uh, but I, I'm gonna, no matter what, I'm gonna go drop these off. I think, let's go clear Troglodyte Cave, because that's the last thing I did. And I'm gonna try and make a little bit of progress. And we'll try and get ourselves the uh, the helmet and the boots. Because I, I think I need to tank up here. Put away the quarter staff. We got the bedroll. Let's put away the rest. And I wouldn't mind getting the fanged axe blueprints and some other related things. Let's see. Anything else? Spikes? Definitely my gold. I don't want to lose any of that if I can. Okay. And then, yeah, this will have to be it. Because no matter what, I... Like, I should be going to bed. 
I have a flight in... Let's see. It's in 12 hours. 10 hours. Which means, like, I should be probably sleeping, but I'm getting the very distinct feeling I'm not going to sleep much tonight. There's the mild temptation to just not sleep at all and just get all my work done and then sleep on the plane. I might do that, actually. Because that way I could get all my videos together, edited and rendering, rendered, transferred, I don't know. My, my eternal fear with travel when I'm alone is that I'm going to... Is that I'm going to... Is that a person? No. That's just a trunk. Yeah, my, my eternal fear with travel uh, when I'm traveling alone is that I'm going to travel alone and then I'm going to miss a flight because I slept in. I'm going to have to spend like an extra couple hundred dollars. Uh, like an extra couple hundred dollars just to be... Oh, hey, did I ever... I never opened this. Wow, that's a pretty sweet cash actually. Uh, let's see. But, you know, I sleep in, miss the flight entirely, and then am effectively screwed. Because I don't, I don't think they rebook you using any of that. Like, once you miss your flight, you, you've missed your flight. And if I was, like, a real human being with, I don't know. Like, a more standard schedule? Would be so bad? But we'll see. Anyway, let's, let's go kill these troglodytes if I can. I'm feeling pretty confident. I've got much better equipment. I should be able to just punch things. Okay, so it looks like dead troglodytes stay dead. Probably. I'll keep the lantern on in here. Yeah, I'm I'm really curious how much how many resources actually respawn. Okay, so they have since spotted me. Oh, we should probably probably put our backpack down. Oh, I left my lantern there, didn't I? Okay. So far, basic impressions are it is dark as hell in here. But having a shield makes a massive difference. Like, bringing a weapon around to block apparently just takes, like, an insane amount of time. I blame Sekiro for a lot of my bad habits here. Like, I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to get a bunch of comments being like, We told you so! I'm going to be like, I, kinda, but it's like, you got to realize I, I'm going from, like, the fastest souls, like, in, in existence to... Slow, much slower, much clunkier, and whatnot. So, honestly, if I'm going to be going sword and board, I can probably keep my backpack on me. At least so it's not, uh, dark. Why did I do this thing? Okay. Because, yeah, if I'm going to be going sword and board, I can afford to be a little bit slower. Especially in a cave where I need to be able to see what's going on. Oh, hello. Mana stone. Is that it? That looks like that's it. 